Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this video um, I'm going to do a Leo Rising, Leo Sun and as well Leo Moon a uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of November uh, 2022 and uh, if you do enjoy the content of the channel uh, you can leave a like and also sub subscribe for it so uh, you do not miss me going live and uh, as well if you do wish uh, to have a personal reading with me you can always uh, go to my website uh, which link you are going to find um, in the description down below so with that said uh, let me finish the shuffle here uh, do the cut and see what you got guys so the first one uh, for you Leo that's gonna be the nine of cups Followed by the second card, which stands as the Queen of Wands. Moving on next, uh, we do have the Five of Cups. And uh, the final one for you, Leo, the final Prime card, is going to be the Seven of Cups. That's uh, a bit awkward. Oh, it does look like that uh, there is going to be someone showing up and how exactly we are going to check that on um, uh, when I start drawing the catalysts, the additional cards to these. But there is going to be a particular person that shows up for you, which is going to mess around a little bit with, uh, with your experience and your experience from the month starting up with it. Uh, it's going to be really good. So I don't think that you are going to be very happy uh, with the appearance of that individual, which is the Queen of Wands. But we are going to check that more thoroughly when I do start, uh, when I draw the additional card to it. But what, what happens here for according to them, it is either that person is going to make you think less of yourself, like you're not good enough and sort, or it's kind of like they are gonna how can i put it into words well they, they they are gonna make you again think that you are missing something it's not like you're not good enough but you're not good enough yet i don't know how to uh, how to put it into words so with that said Starting up with the month for you, we do have uh, the Nine of Cups in the additional card. That's going to be the star, the star card, uh, the star card. I'm sorry. So these two, and uh, it's a really good start. Uh, well, the the thing that those couple of cards are saying is that you are going to be in a, such a good mood and in such a good position there. Um, <clears throat> that you ain't going to care actually. You know what life. Uh, has to offer to you so uh, from one side it's a really good standpoint because you are going to be happy at the start of the month regardless what you are going through for example if you are going through really shitty times before the month of uh, november kicks in probably at the start of the month there are going to be turnover circumstances that are going to make you very very happy about things that you are concerned and you ain't going to care if something else is about to happen in your life that is how well you are going to feel uh having the uh actually this is even more than that okay because uh, uh, hear me out usually when we are after something we also have a preference how that something is to play out here you ain't gonna care about your preference okay uh, you ain't gonna care how the whole thing is going to develop for as long as the end result it is what had been promised for example um <clears throat> you ain't gonna care how this relationship is gonna be for as long as this relationship is right or you ain't gonna care how difficult the job is gonna be for as long as the job is and, and so on and so forth or you ain't gonna care how the problem is gonna be resolved for as long as the problem is resolved and, and so on and so forth so <clears throat> that said the start of the month 
you are going to be in a position of sensual joy you're going to feel that your life is fulfilled and and, and for some of you even there are going to be a moments of ecstasy as well uh, very much content about what uh, uh, what the future is going to be for yourself, but you ain't going to care exactly what the future has to offer because only thing you want at that moment, it is what it is placed in front of you, whether into your business or whether into your career. I'm going to sneeze. <clears throat> I do apologize for that. So uh, the thing is that, yeah, Granted, I mean, you're going to have that extremely well development or extremely good development, but by definition from those couple of cards, Leo, it's a short term one. However, you can make it a long lasting if you are up to date with what requires to be maintained. So the relationship that you may enter or you may see going in a very positive way that you are in can keep up being into that way for as long as you do what it, uh, what it is required to maintain it. And same thing about the job. You know, <clears throat> many tarot readers interpret the Nine of Cups like a wish come through. And yeah, that, that's actually what the card stands for you know or rather like wish i don't know but uh an aspect of of thy life that makes thou very very happy that's granted but how long you know this is where the the challenge and uh, the the lesson from the card comes that getting it is the easy part Keeping it now that's the hard part and you got uh, and and one has to do what what it is required to maintain and to keep it so uh, with that said we saw start of the month really really great for you and uh, after that kind of like very emotionally positive time this one shows up the queen of wands with the queen of cups it's a it's a person being deprived of of any feeling or any emotion now these people they don't give a dime what you feel what situation you're in okay i mean generally they they, they just can't tap in into what you are going through okay and not just only you but anyone around you anyone around them as well so whatever the situation in between you and this individual queen of wands with the queen of cups this is not personal okay they are just like that with anyone i do believe that that's gonna turn out to be into your business and into your career okay or into your job so to speak because that's a person who is um, used to uh, whenever they say jump you do not ask why you ask how high all right how high they want you to jump and um even worse than that, it is that this uh, this particular individual, they very well know uh, where your strengths and weaknesses are, and so they can exploit them, both of them. You know, they can use you to solve their problems, and also they can use your weaknesses to make you feel bad, and to make you feel, like I said, at the, the overview of the reading, less of yourself. Where you can feel that you're not good enough, and you are constantly missing something and that's why i think that is going to be into your career i believe that at the middle of the month whether in your job that may be a client of yours that is going to exploit the weakness of your business to make you for example bend knee to their demands or it could be your boss who, who is exploiting your a personal status or your personal situation to to uh, meet their own ends and so on and so forth uh, or even the worst possible option of this person is someone who is literally pretending to be your friend only to exploit your kindness and to exploit your weaknesses as well now that person has a a will to prevail and i don't care how this is going to reflect or affect anyone around uh 
uh, unfortunately as well they are not very good into keeping secrets in fact they are using um, that sensitive information as a leverage so month of november is going to be a month where you should be very 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 careful whom you are trusting and what kind of an information you share in fact a personal intimate information is going to be best to keep it for yourself but even that's the case maybe they're gonna find it from somewhere it is because the next card that you do have uh it is the five of cups okay uh the card is catalyzed with the nine of swords so we do have uh, these two cards they are a passive neutrals and uh, after the clash or the interception with the, the queen of wands you are gonna be like stunned entering into the second half of the month of november uh more or less you're gonna have that feeling that things are not ideal and they are not gonna be ideal i mean nobody can be ideal with with anything around them there is always someone that is better than anybody else but in your case leo you are going to be more touched by the situation for what those cards are showing and uh, this is gonna numb your personal sense of so to speak responsibility moving on forward what this could lead to is uh how can i put it into words running away from aspects in your life that you are pretty much entitled to whether good or whether bad as well so long story short here after you know the experience with with this individual is over and they're no longer an influence into your life it's going to be very important to remember you know what you are after what is your what is your primary goal because as these two cards here once again stands they are urging you not to abandon the original goal idea or a path that you have uh, chosen beforehand mm, i will try to say it in other words just because you feel that you know you are not performing as good as you can because that's basically what is going to be the feeling left okay uh, that doesn't mean that you can't make it you know some do better than others but eventually everybody with enough persistence um, if you will stubbornness learning curve and so on and so forth eventually everybody can can get what anyone is after so to speak bottom line here is that you should not allow any disappointment or even a sense of loss so to speak to obstruct uh, to obstruct your strive whatever disappointments you do have after the middle of the month towards the end of the month whatever senses of loss you also have that may be a loss of direction that may be a loss of resources you know that may be a loss of literally anything you need to know that these losses they are a temp uh, uh, partial losses i'm sorry the disappointments are temporary the, the losses happens to be a partial and you can definitely recover you can definitely regain whatever you have lost because depending on what kind of an interaction you do have with the queen of wounds here at the, the um <clears throat> Uh, middle of the month will uh, define what kind of a uh, senses you're gonna have right i mean it could be a sense of loss that you have lost the client because that queen of wands were able to secure it for her or for him because it could be a man as well okay could be a sense of uh, a sense of self-worth because that could play out in a way that this is a person who is trying to hit on your boyfriend or a girlfriend and, and they are uh, making it in such a way that you think that they are better than you okay that also could be the case it just it could play in so many different ways <clears throat> but whatever senses you do have tainted and polluted from the appearance of the queen of wands don't give yourself to it okay just accept that you know sometimes shade happens and just and just go go forward with your original goal and with your original uh, anticipation rather like a uh, 
yeah, anticipation of what you are about to do throughout the month and whatever accomplishments you want to achieve throughout the month. And the end of the month, uh, you do have the Seven of Cups here, which is going to be catalyzed by the Three of Pentacles. Uh, those uh, those two cards, and that also could play in a few different ways. Okay, depending on uh, whether this experience is traumatic for you or you have recovered from it end of the month should that experience be traumatic for you and you can't recover by yourself uh, end of the month you're going to get a uh, a help or rather like a support this isn't going to be a professional help like seeking a therapist or like uh <clears throat> you know going forward with uh with with a paid services so to speak this is more like a people who are gonna rally around you and they're gonna show to you that they love you and they're gonna be by your side no matter what okay and this is gonna bolster your spirit and, and basically through it you are gonna pick yourself from the ground if you haven't pick your, picked yourself from the ground up until that point uh, yeah, there are going to be a lot of conversations in between you and these people. There is going to be a lot of a, um, can I put it into words, a lot of a, um, a fruitful discussions and cooperations in between uh, in between you and these people that uh, you are going to see uh, those aspects of the experience with the Queen of Wands who had merit okay and fix them and those aspects which did not have any merit and, and just you know you are gonna not prove but rather like you convince yourself that for the most part that whole negative experience was basically bs now for those of you who kind of recovered by themselves these cards are going to have a very bolstering effect here seven of cups in the three of pentacles basically what happens is that you are going to determine yourself to be a tenfold better than what you have entered into the month and so here we can see very much eagerness and not just only eagerness but as well a huge uh goals that you are to bestow upon yourself when you are to reach them i don't know i mean it could be in an year or two or ten years from now can you reach them definitely i mean with uh, the seven of cups being there because that card just shows a seeds that are yet to be growing but how far they're gonna grow and are they gonna be ripe to collect well that depends on uh on you but a bottom line here is that they can be accomplished i mean these bolstering uh, uh goals and uh, and as well dreams but will you well the guidance of these cards at least for the time being leo is that you tread carefully i mean don't try to to take a, 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 a 10 steps with a straight of one take it slowly one step after another allow one thing leads to another and that way you are not going to be disappointed any longer so with that said guys uh, that was your uh, monthly title reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around until then, bye.